guys, it's Lisa. Today I'm gonna to do this makeup look with mostly high-end products. I think the only drugstore product I used was my mascara and my lashes. I just wanted to use some of my regular products and then there are a few products in here I wanted to kind of feature that I thought you might like or might be curious about, like this powder from Givenchy. This is so popular and it's expensive. And so I thought it might be good to see it in action. Then I wanted to show you the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. I wanted to show you a good way to use it with your matte foundations. And I was just thinking there's something I didn't do here and it's this. Let's do this right now. This is a Victoria Beckham Eyeliner in Navy. And I meant to do this and forgot. So we're gonna do it right now because this is is a nice looking liner. I have to do it very lightly because it has good pigment. So I usually do it just a little bit in my lashes like that. Oh my God, that's so pretty. And that color is just amazing. And then just like really close your eyes together and it'll get a little bit on the top and it just makes your eyes look so pretty. I think blue eyeliner looks good on everyone. It looks good on blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna use this palette, my new one from MAC, gorgeous. So if you like this look, then just keep on watching. I hope that you can hear this well. My microphone went out, and so I just did a whole video and had no volume. So we're gonna start again because I loved it. It was so pretty. So here we go. We're gonna start again. I've already put on my Laura Geller Favorite Body Bronzer, and this is the Tahitian Glow. So that is what I have on my chest and my arms. And then I have used my Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Antioxidant Face Tanning Micro Mist. And I do apply that at night after my skincare, I would say about 30 minutes after, while my hair is still in the towel. That way I don't get it in my hair. I love it. So it doesn't get my face extremely dark. Plus I just, I've washed off my makeup now twice with this little makeup remover, which really, really works. So I probably just scrubbed some of it off. Okay, so let's get started again. Let's start with my primer right here. This is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. And while I'm doing this, I wanted to tell you about some makeup mistakes that I have made and still make all the time. So you won't make them. Okay, so there is my primer. Now let's start with the foundation that I love. Now I use a long wear, medium to full coverage foundation, several different ones, but what's most important to me is the tone and the finish. That is one of the big mistakes that I have made and I see other people make is using the wrong finish. If you live in a humid climate and you have normal to oily skin, it's sad because you want to use all of these foundations you hear other people talk about and tinted moisturizers and all of these things, it will just slide right off your face. So if you notice that your foundation is just disappearing and when you look in the mirror, you have like none left right here and just different places that you probably don't even realize that you touch your face during the day, that is why. You have to use what's appropriate for your skin type and the weather that you're in. So for that, I love this one. This is the Hourglass Ambient soft glow foundation and i thought we would use more higher end products since i just did a drugstore i will put that up here because that one i like a lot of drugstore products too but this is one of my favorite foundations so i use one pump on each side with a damp this is the eco tool sponge i like it better than any other and i do go over my eyelids everywhere this is going to give me just a really blank canvas and you'll notice that it's much lighter than my body that is because i would rather go in with the darker like the bronzer and contour and stuff like that than start off too dark and have to use a bunch of concealer and things to lighten up i find that i use less product that way and i do bring what's left down my neck now i am not going to worry about really blending into my hairline or all over my ears because i know that i'm going to wear my hair down but that is another 
makeup mistake that I see, like when I'm watching my videos back, sometimes when I let my hair dry natural, you know, it's kind of more off of my face. I can see that line a little bit more and that I need to blend it into my hairline. And I have people ask me a lot about pores and pore filling primers, things like that. I do have pores like right there on the side of my nose, but I just really make sure I work all of my foundation. That is something, a big mistake that I make too, is sometimes I put too much right in there. So just make sure you really, really blend it in. Another favorite product is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. Love this. I love it. I love everything about it. The color, the consistency, how long it lasts, everything. And then I take a damp beauty blender. Now I wet these, I wring them out, and then I also wring them out in a washcloth to make sure that they're not too damp, but it really does help. I would never use a dry beauty blender. And I do kind of get all in here and on my eyelids. Okay, so you can see the dimension is already coming back. Now for powder, I'm gonna use something a little bit different than I typically use just because I feel like you might be curious about this powder. It's very popular, it's very expensive, and I think it might be on your radar. It's the Givenchy, the pink powder, the number three. It's messy, and that is probably one of the reasons I just stick with my Laura Mercier but this is very pretty, and so I wanted to use it for you, just so you could see. It's very finely milled. You can see the dust coming up, and it doesn't have a heavy scent. It's just really, really pretty, really good. It's just really messy. And so I take it, and I do one side at a time. So now I would take my big brush. This is a Sigma Ultimate Bronzer Brush, F78, and I usually just basically get all the extra that I have gotten everywhere. Oh my goodness, this is messy. If you use this and you know of a better way, let me know. And then I go over the rest of my face and kind of get the excess off. Now we pretty much have a summer bulletproof foundation. Now we can just build on this and it lasts for me. I'm gonna start with my favorite brush. I can use this for everything. It's the Sonia G Cheek Brush and my Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I have hit pan on it today. It smells good, it smells like summertime. And then this is very, very, very important. Contour the jawline. So all of this is also helping my face blend into my body. But that is not all. I like to use two different shades of bronzers just to get the look that I want. And this next one is so beautiful. It's the Anastasia Rosewood. This one is a little bit more pigmented, so you don't want to go too heavy. Now, this is something that I'm doing a collaboration with Laura Geller on my Instagram, but not YouTube. But I love this stuff so much that I wanted to show it to you in this video. It's a little set on QVC, and I will put the discount codes down below. Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. This is the medium. I really need to order the dark, not the golden medium. I think it looks too yellow. I'm gonna order the dark. And it comes in this set on QVC with this retractable brush. Typically, I'm not crazy about brushes like this, but with this product, it looks so pretty, and it's almost like a highlighter. So this is the perfect way for you to take your matte, long-wearing foundation and make it have a glow and look pretty but still last. So I've been swirling it in here. Notice there's no like fallout or dust up. I love it. And this is very, very soft. And I've just been going over my whole cheek like that. I used it the other day all over to go to the pool. And it was so pretty. It was that picture I took and put on my Instagram with my robe on. It just made my skin look beautiful. Now you could do it all over and I'm so tempted to, but I don't want you to go too far. That is just gorgeous. Okay, now let's do lips. This is an oldie, but a goodie. I watched a video that I did a long time ago. Sometimes when you guys comment on my old videos, I'll look at it and I'll think, 
gosh, I love that lip. What was it? And I ordered this again. This is the Chanel Nude Brown Lip Liner. I always forget about it. It's a good light brown. One lip liner mistake I do see some women making. It's not that I want everyone to use lip liner or overline or use dark lip liner or all the things that I do and I love, but don't line underneath, like below your lip line. It only makes your lips look smaller. It makes this area look longer, which happens when we age. It just works against you. So make sure you at least go to the actual lip line with your lip liner. I like to go right on it. And then this was the lip that I, I think I bought this when I lived at my old house and I love it. It's so good. So it's the long wearing. It's one of their best sellers. This color is Mary Rose and make sure you get it all the way to the bottom of your lip. That is definitely a makeup mistake I have made, like right in here. Okay, we're gonna let that dry before we put the top coat on. Okay, now we're gonna use one of my favorite, favorite brow products, and that is the Dior Brow Kabuki Brow Styler in Blonde. And last time I used it, I put the wrong lid on the wrong side and I broke it. So we're gonna see, yep, it still works, it's still great. Okay, and my brows are in full force right now. I need to get my daughter to help me shape them and tweeze them. Isn't that pretty? It's like just enough. And then this little brush, I cannot believe how good it gets in your brow hairs and really brushes them out. Okay, that's another makeup mistake that I have made. Definitely is too dark a brows or not enough. It's worth trying a few products and getting the perfect brow because even if you have brows like mine that aren't a big statement, getting them just right really helps. And something that I really like is this Too Faced Laminating Brow Wax. Don't let the laminating scare you. It's not gonna do anything crazy. It just basically is a brow setter with a really good brush. That's what I think of it as. Okay, now let's go back in with the lip and put the gloss on. Okay, they say to try not to rub your lips together in the beginning, let it set just a little bit. That is hard for me to do. I want to do it so bad. Okay, now let's use the Porefessional Super Setter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff is so good. I mean, look at that fine mist. Yet it still helps take the powder away. You guys, I didn't put on blush, did I? Can't believe that. We're gonna use a high-end Dior blush. This is the coral. We're gonna use the same brush and go over that Laura Geller. That's the beauty of it. Do the Laura Geller first and then go over it. Okay, now let's spray it. See how it takes a little bit of that powdery look away, but it still leaves the long lasting part and that's what I like. Now let's get into our eyes. I'm gonna use a dry beauty blender and my MAC paint pot and I usually just swirl it around in there like this and then just put a little bit on. This keeps you from applying too much. Now for eyeshadow, I thought we would use this new palette from MAC and it is the Embedded in Burgundy, but I would not really call it a burgundy palette, I guess, unless you use that one color. It has hoe and shroom in it, which I love. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is take this brush. I love it. It is the Ariel and Morphe A25. If I had to say the one mistake that I see, especially like on the news, and on TV that it just drives me crazy. And I think, what was that makeup artist thinking? Is when they take someone with deep set eyes like mine and they embed, speaking of embedded, embed the dark color right here in this darkest part of the crease. Don't do that. It'll just make your eyes look more deep set, older, smaller, all of the things that we don't want. Instead, take your crease color and go on that bone. If you don't even have that bone, say you have hooded eyes, create it. You want it to lift and widen your eyes. So I go right on this bone like this. You can already see how much bigger and wider that eye looks. I'm not going like in there. I'm going on this bone. And I come in just a little bit on the corners. And then I do underneath. This depends on your eye shape. I have a prominent 
lower lid. So I do it. So now I'm going to just clean off my brush on my towel, go into the shroom, and I'm gonna do the lid and kind of come around on the inside. Okay, so now let's do the liner. I'm gonna do my black and brown and show you how I do that. So I'm gonna start with the brown roller liner. These are my favorite. So you can just kind of lay it on its side and make sure you're getting all the way to the lash line. That's one makeup mistake I make is not getting all the way down here. I'm not a upper waterline girl just cause it kind of kooks me out and I don't like having to remove it but I do think it's important to not leave any spaces right there. So I do my wing and then I just fill it in. Okay, another makeup mistake I make, and I still do it sometimes, I don't realize it, but I angle my wings too far up. And that will give you, it's a different look and some people may prefer that look, but on me, I like them more kind of out, up and out just a little bit. I'm kind of just trying to keep it level with the highest part of my eyelid and come out. That way it just makes my eye bigger and lifts a little bit. But if I do it up, angled up too far, it can give you that um, Endora off of Bewitched type look. And I don't want that. But you know what? Who was it? I think it was Pixie Woo that said, it's just makeup, it washes off. That's kind of how I feel. Okay, this is a brand new roller liner in black. So now what I do is come back and just go right down by the lash line with the black because it's undeniable that the black down by the lash line is going to look prettier and make your eyelashes look thicker. And then I'm going to do a little baby wing just to add my lashes. And that will just give them a place to sit and blend in, yet I still just have the brown wing. Okay, I thought I would show you the Lily Lash Glue. Now another mistake that I have made many, many, many times is wearing the wrong lashes for my eye shape. Because my eyes are deep set, they're smaller, they're really round like that way. They, you know, are round as far as like my eyelid is curved. I cannot wear a full strip lash. And I have tried. I've, you know, where you wear lashes all the way to there. I think the last ones I tried were ones that Tati likes and I still couldn't even wear those. So I like to take lashes. This is the, I think the Kiss Jubilee. So I'm gonna put the lash glue on here you know what? This lash glue dries so fast. I probably should have done my mascara first. So I'm going to set that down and do my mascara for this eye real quick. I'm gonna use all high-end makeup, but nothing beats this Bambi to me. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do that twirl. This is a new bottle of mascara because I could not find, I get like when I'm doing my mascara or makeup period, I like put stuff in a weird place if I'm not paying attention. So I'm liable to find it like in with my lipstick or something like that. New ones don't work as well as ones that have been open for a little bit. This is my hardest eye to do. And then I look down so that your lashes are down, put it right there and then take the end and lift it. You don't want to wear false lashes and then them drag your eye down. The whole idea is to make them bigger and lifted. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye and then we will be back. Okay, so I think our eyes are done, except for, because these are all cool tone, you can always take your bronzer and add a little bit of warmth, like right up there above the crease color something I do sometimes. And if you want just a little bit more accent on the ends, just dab your brush in the darkest color and come right off of the wing. And that can give you a little bit of an accent on your eyes. Okay, I think that is it. I feel good about this one. I don't feel like it's way too dark. I love it. This daggone Laura Geller, I am loving, loving. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna like a whole face full of it, but I think it is amazing over like your cheeks and just to give your makeup some yumminess, but I love it. Okay, my accessories today, 
This is a Sheila Fajal ring that I got a long time ago and I didn't know she still made it, but she does. I love it. This is the Victoria Emerson ring, my bull of a watch, and then public service announcement or my subscriber service announcement. These are the Dean Davidson that I love so much and he is reducing his discount to 15% starting july 1st so if you want anything from dean davidson now is the time i'll put my code below to get the 25 percent off and then my outfit is going to be crazy but i love it i'll be right back okay this is an anthropology bodysuit these are the zara hero pants and then i have on my new gucci flip-flops i haven't really shown you guys yet i ordered them and got them right after my haul last week and they are large and in charge. I thought they were gonna be like the newest version of like last year's Gucci flip-flops that I love so much, but they are very oversized, very chunky, definitely more of that dad sandal look. I don't like them as much as the ones last year, but I liked them enough to keep them just because they're kind of funky looking. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you saw something that you liked and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.